Well, hey everybody, what was, welcome back to the shop. Uh, this is for the sharpening guys or anybody else that's really in the know about manufacturing. Uh, not really a Wednesday talk, but it is a Wednesday talk. So, who remembers back in the 90s, they come up with ISO companies, ISO. Uh, and then they had to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, right? To get this ISO certification, which basically meant it was almost meant solely towards auto manufacturers or companies that make auto parts. So if you was an ISO company, you were pretty much guaranteed to have made the exact same part over and over and over again and it always is the same thing you got me so far <clears throat> so all these other companies manufacturers started getting in involved in this and again basically if you're an iso company anybody at boston you can guarantee they're going to get the exact same part every time and if you're an ISO company, it doesn't matter what it is. Files, grinding wheels, right? So we're going toward the sharpness stuff. They should always be exactly the same every time it leaves the doors. Right? Okay. Now we got to go back 15 years. I used to sell stuff for Simon's, uh, Simon's Saw Company. But of course it sold out three or four times and now it's part of a big conglomerate, yada, yada, yada. But it was an ISO company. I, I think y'all got where I'm going. So now here is what goes on. I like doing these without turning the camera off, but we're going to do this in two or three parts. So, I do these paper tube saws, right? On these foldy filers, right? I have files everywhere. Simon's files, Simon's black mats. So, a pet peeve, right? Here's what it looks like. It just goes under, right? And it, it, it's just filing these teeth like a handsaw. Instead of sitting straight up and down, it's just at an angle. So you get compound angles, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, back to the ISO stuff. So if you're an ISO company, this file should be the same to everything I open and package, never is. This file should always, always also be hardened, every corner, the center, everything, all the way around like it's supposed to be. Now, this is the second saw blade I put on here. This file's already dull on this side. And for y'all guys that don't think you can dull the file, you're definitely wrong. So, I will flip this thing around. This one might be hardened, right? And it'll last through 10 or 12 of these. This one lasts the two. I might flip it around, this one lasts one. And I'll finally flip it around and I'll find one that's hardened to the right thing. Now, more. ISO stuff, All right? Let's see if I can get them lined up here. Mm. It's gonna be hard for you to tell. But if you look at the end of these files, um, they're not the same. Every one of them is different. Um, so yeah, um, 
the lesson in this is there's not a manufacturer out there that gives a crap anymore. Uh, I remember when I was buying these files, every one of them was exactly the same. I mean, it's down to the point of they're not even the same angles, which causes me problems on the repeat saw blades. But just for you sharpening guys out there, um, and people that's interested in the manufacturing, ISO means I suck. Um, you can't trust any of them, no matter what. Um, used to be able to, you can't no more. But there's my little Wednesday talk, Wednesday rant, but I figured I'd gear this towards the sharpening guys. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Maybe you didn't, maybe you did. But again, you don't trust any manufacturer. <clears throat> and none of them is worth the crap anymore. We all just have to hang in there and do the best we can with what we get. All right. I'm off here. We will see y'all when we fire this blazer up. I mean, <laughs> the trash truck up. See you.